All right, this video is um, a tip on how to handle a difficult person. So um, in my life, I've had to deal with a lot of difficult people. And most people, when someone's difficult, it is really easy to just think of everything negative about the person. And you just want to go straight to war with them and prove you're right and prove they're wrong and beat them because it's us versus them mentality. And guess what? That doesn't work. <laughs> it just doesn't work. And so I'm going to start off by, um, I want to start off by praying about this subject because this is a interesting subject for me to talk about because I've had, I've been on both sides of this. So let's go. Lord, I pray for the subject as I'm about to talk about this, that I speak truth, not lies, and that I speak in a way that people can understand and also be able to take what I have to say and use it as advice. Lord, help me just be the best version of me I can and help other people and pass on the knowledge you have given me to others. I know a lot of people believe that when God tells you something, it's just meant for you and you alone, but I don't want to just keep those that type of stuff to myself. I don't want to be greedy in that way. I want to share what you have to say to other people so that others can be touched and learn from experiences. And I pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so how to deal with a difficult person. The first thing you have to do when someone's being difficult and they're yelling at you and they're screaming or if they're just being really negative, the best way is to be silent. Now, I know you're saying, well, what if they're talking lies? What if they're just attacking you? No. You just shut up, listen, wait till they're done, or take a couple of breaths, and then talk to them as an adult. Sit them down. Let them work out whatever stuff they're going through and then talk to them out of a place of love. Now, if you're someone that has a hard time loving, I seriously would suggest going and watching my Love Dare videos. I'll be uploading one daily as I would work through the book myself. Now, I'm pretty good at loving people as it is, but I, even I need to work on it. And I'm going to keep working on that book and helping. I'm hoping that I'm using it to help other people. So... <sighs> After they've calmed down and that they're in a good place, you sit down with them, look at them eye to eye, and you speak the truth about how they made you feel, but also meet them where they're at. Um, I found in my own situations that the best way people to communicate with me is after I'm calmed down, they let me talk, and they let me talk what I need to talk about, and then you give me the feedback I need. Now, there's times where... There is an acceptable point of time and a non-acceptable point of time of talking to someone while they're going through something. Um, I know if someone is angry at you personally and they are not ready, uh, you just leave them alone. <laughs> you just leave them alone, give them space until they're ready to talk to you. Um, I have to do that even right now, actually, with someone, one of my friends. Is I basically have told him the truth, how he makes me feel, and then I'm letting him be. He's moved on with his life. Um, I want to trust that he's actually going to not talk to me anymore, but I have a very strong feeling he's going to reach out to me in the future and I, and seek forgiveness um, just because I know him really well, <laughs> more than he thinks. <laughs> but um, it is important to look at them, and this is from a Christian point of view, is look at them with God's eyes. So God forgave you for your sins. God loved on you so much he died on, on a cross, right? And I think it's important as a Christian, but also it could be a non-Christian who use this, is look at them with God's eyes. Look at them with their God's eyes and love on them as he does and forgive them as he does. Um, as I read in my other video before I started making this one, Love's Patient, Love's Kind, I went through that list. Um, if you're not doing those things, you're not doing all right. You're not handling the situation. Are you being patient with them? while they're going through whatever stuff they're working through, when they're being difficult, are you being kind to them when they're not being kind back? I've noticed when people are kind to me, when I'm not being kind, tend to help me get through stuff, believe it or not. Um, being patient is a big deal to me. No, I am not feeding you. You already were fed. I fed both of you like three hours ago. <sighs> Mm. My cats have been annoying the past now three days. Somehow they've been getting in the covers and taking something out almost every day. Day one, they took out like bagels. Day two, they got in some sort of meat. And day three, they got in. And, and you look at my freaking kitchen. Look at my kitchen. 
There's not a single cupboard open, and somehow they somehow get food out of the cupboard. And they've been very difficult. And this is a good example of me having to be patient with them and love on them instead of like beating them and squirting them with a, with, with a water gun. <sighs> Some days it's really hard. I mean, the best thing to do is to walk out of the room, go for a walk, go to the next room over, listen to some music, breathe exercises, read the word of God, call a friend you trust. Doesn't matter. There is always a way. My mom once told me this. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to feel pissed. What's not okay is the sin. And what sin looks like is when you attack someone, even though they deserve it. And I have a friend that definitely deserves to have his ass whooped online, offline, in person. But instead, I'm called to be better than that. I'm called to, to a higher authority. And so, and, and that, with that being said, I'm called to love him anyway, or them. Um, I think that's all I have to say on this matter, really. I want to keep it sweet and simple. Um, these type of videos, I want them to be sweet and simple and to the point and be less than 20 minutes because I want people to be able to understand my tips when I give them because I want to um, ensure that people are able to comprehend and use this. And I hope this helps somebody. I know somebody out there must be struggling, and I'm hoping they find this video and they're like, this was really useful. Instead of having someone talk for like 20, 30 to 40 to an hour about a subject, I just made it six minutes. So, anywho, thanks for watching this video. I hope everyone has a good day.